we have here a nice group of early 20th century postcards that all depict advertising. Look at this great one. That's wonderful, right? Got that carriage. Look at the interior of this Seattle, Washington shop. Yeah, that's just here. Look at this. Heineken advertising on the street there. They're standing there looking at it. Here we are, Victoria train station with this kiosk, this carriage. Yeah, signage. This is all, these all have to do with signage. Kodak. Yeah, and there's another one up there on the building, and that's in Bermuda. Here, this is interesting. There are signs all over the place here. Uh, on these buildings. You can't quite read most of them. They're even hanging some up here, but they're there and it shows the placement of signs on a street in, that's actually New Hampshire, Manchester. Here's France. We see signage here and we see a trolley there or a tram as the case may be. Look at this right here. Odell and there's a placard or a poster there hung up in public, which is great. And here we see again signage on buildings. Same thing here, all sorts of signage and storefront windows. Here's another one. Chemist there, there's one. There's a sign, there's signs. There's an eyeglass sign right there. Three-dimensional eyeglass. Here we are, the front of a shop. Spielwaren there. Here we see windows with lettering and decorations, signage on the windows. <clears throat> Over here, there they are, there's a huge painted sign on the side of that brick building there. And here we have tobacco and awnings with signage on them. And this kiosk that has some type of handbills pasted up on it. Here we have advertising on the front of this tram. Here's a garage for bicycles. Over here, signage all around. Victoria Hotel advertising on that boat. That's a fantastic one in Chartres, France, of a shop front with the windows full of goods. It's a watch, a uh, clock maker there, or clock shop, and here we have a bank and money changer, and that appears to be in Germany, and with some signs here on the facade of the building. And look at these colorful placards and posters here with signage here, uh, signs and lettering on the awnings. Ha! Ah, wow, this is probably right, right after, after the war in Rems, France, but there's the signage right here and this one. There's actually, it looks like a poster hung there as well, or affixed. This is interesting. Here is this tiny little kiosk decorated with posters of advertising for like theater and products and so on. And that would have been in uh, quite a common scene in public in general. And here's a closer look at that type of uh, signage on that type of a structure in public in Europe. Here we have the Rijksmuseum with again a similar uh, structure with posters and signage on it and it's actually the same view but a different scene with different signage on it and here it is yet again with different signage on it it's kind of fun three of the same view they're all different and here is another one where we have to look around and find it yes it's here somewhere <laughs> where is it in this one I think we see it down here. Yes, yes, there. Okay, and now what have we got? Oops, we've got some upright ones here now going this way. Ah, this is wonderful. Look at that right there on the top of that tram and the same right there. And, ah yes, here on the side of this and on the fence, there's some signage there. And we see signage all over the place this one and again what we see is store signage 
here. So we get to see a street, and there's a poster right there. And the final postcard here is this one in New York, where we see all types of large signs here and here. And so this lot of postcards, uh, all depicting in some way or other uh, public posters, signs, and advertising, is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.